Hi everyone, Darren here, and today we're going to do this 65D that was sent in by a man named Jerry. He uh, he already had the specs. AC Dodd had built him a 45D or a excuse me a 59D for his Mini a number of years ago, and he sent this one in to me to have it recurve to the same specs. So I'm going to go do that today. Now he did kindly send me this uh, build sheet for the engine including compression ratio, uh, head work, what cam has. So it's got this this uh, MM32 Torker cam. So it gives you lift duration. Um, talks about uh, ported from the carburetor for the vacuum and gives you octane, final drive. So a lot of good information here, um, which I could use to build a curve, but he already knew what the curve that he wanted to use was. So this is what he sent in. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, duplicate this and um, We'll see how close I can get to these numbers, but that's what I'm going to do today on this, this unit. First is going to be, I need to uh, you know, obviously strip it down and inspect the parts for wear and things like that. So if this unit, for some reason, is too worn out, I do have other units I can use as a core, but uh, we'll start with inspecting it. Hopefully none of these screws are stripped out. A lot of times I find that, um, in particular, this screw seems to be stripped out a lot on these things. So... Hopefully that's not the case with Jerry's unit. Well, I've got it all apart. And good things. For starters, this is nice and clean. It actually had a compound on the module. The vacuum module in here is working. None of the screws to hold the cap and lace are stripped out. This looks like a new cap. The rotor looks good. Um, thrust washers seemed okay. And then um, this must have just been really cleaned thoroughly before he sent it to me. But um, yeah, I didn't see anything wrong with this. So it's a good unit to start a rebuild on. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this in the distributor machine and check on the curve numbers that it has now. So I know which way to go on it. And also measure the uh, total advance. And then make adjustments accordingly. So I'm going to go ahead and measure the total advance. Looks like 13 and a half maybe. Yeah, 13 and a half. Wow. So that means that the stamping on this distributor unit was accurate. It did say 13 and a half. Let's see where it is. There it is. And it's still 13 and a half. Amazing. Well, it doesn't matter because I have to change it to match the specs on this distributor. So I'll go ahead and do that next. Well, we finally got there in the end with this distributor. As you can see, there's the new springs installed. Um, they look they look just like these two here. But uh, it took several attempts to get this one timed in to match the specs that was provided. Um, I was within, I think, 40 RPMs at 2,000, and I think I came in just shy of 3950. It was like 3875 or something. Um, but either way, I did hit 30 degrees, and I'm hitting, I think, 21 at uh, at 2,000 RPMs. So this thing is done and ready to be reassembled and given back to the customer. Uh, this customer is going to meet me at the uh, Mini Meet East meets West, so I'm just going to hand it off to them directly. But uh, if you've got a distributor that needs timing or have timing questions, just send me a message in the chat or contact me directly via email or messenger. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in another video.